Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have the three Ferrum Forge knives by We. They're made by We, Civivi, same thing. Now, these ones are Ferrum Forge knives. They actually have the Ferrum Forge, um, you know, logo right there on the pivot. This one's Civivi, but it's still a Ferrum Forge design. It still has the shield on it. It's just on this side. So... That is, um, you know, one difference, I guess. And we're going to go through the differences because there are quite a few differences. And a lot of people say that these two knives are exactly the same. Well, we're going to go over what the actual differences are and see which one's best for you. Now, I do not have the Stinger here, which I wish I did because that's another Ferrum Forge model made by We or Svivi. And I do wish that these did come in a larger size. I would love to see these knives in a size like this right? But made by Civivi. So maybe not necessarily a Wii knife, but a Civivi knife. That would be awesome. This is the Wii Malice. I love this knife. Love to see these knives in a large full-size version. However, there isn't any. They do have the Stinger, but I don't have it. So let's get into it. Now, this knife, I don't have a full review on. These two, I do. So this is basically going to be, you know, the representation of this review or whatever. So first thing, this is the only milled out one out of all three of these. This is the only one that has any milling on the inside. The other two do not. Which makes it where these are, I, I guess they're a little heavier, but it doesn't feel like it. When you get knives this light, to me, I can't feel the difference. So that's kind of irrelevant. Um, and they're all solid, so it's not like it feels any stronger or anything like that. Now, another significant difference between, difference between these two is the contouring. Because you can get these in different colors and things like that. So... This one comes in G10 or the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber is a little bit more expensive. And this one is far more expensive than this one or a bit more expensive. Now, even for the G10 model, but, you know, let's say the two, if they're both G10, because this is carbon fiber, this one's contoured. So you can see how the, the scales are contoured. It is thicker. Not by much, but by a little bit. And it's probably just the contouring. However, you would think this one's more comfortable, and it kind of is, aside from the fact that the clips, you see how these two have the same clip? This one has the Civivi clip, which actually is more comfortable in the hand. This one stands up just slightly more proud, so in the hand, I feel the clip more than I do on this one, and I like the cl this clip better. It's inset, flat screw, nothing in the way. Now, this is still a good clip. Still a good clip, but you can see the finish scratching off. These clips are better. They just are. And like I said, in the hand, you know, it, it, it's slightly less comfortable than this one. Now, another significant difference is, well, the flipper tab. Let's go to the flipper tab, and then we'll talk about the liner. So the flipper tab is different on all three However, the most uncomfortable one is this one. Um, it's just, you see the jibbing, you see how it's kind of pokey. Now, I'm not saying it is uncomfortable. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that these flipper tabs are slightly better. This one is just a little bit more pokey. The detent is good. It's still very crisp. It still works very, very well. These two have a flat spot, though. <clears throat> you see this one's a little bit bigger, so you do get a little bit more bigger surface area to flip it so in my opinion this one's the best flipper but this is very very close to this one it's it's almost as good in my opinion and some people might even say it's better you do get a lot of leverage and the jimping on it is very nice so the flipper tab they all have the same detent they all are very very clicky detents that all kind of, they're, they're kind of satisfying the detents on them. Um, not only are they well tuned for the flipper or the reverse flick, they're also, um, you know, like I said, on the closing, you can really feel that detent suck the blade in. Now the liner, the liner, this is the best liner. It's the only one with any jimping. 
and it, it's not scratchy. It's not bad. It's really nice. It's so much more comfortable closing this one than these two. These two are just a straight flat wire or kind of like a wire. They're not horrible or anything like that, but it, you know, there's just, you can feel the tension on it and feel that it's just, you know, basically kind of like pushing a wire where this one is nice and comfortable. It kind of grips you back at the same time. So these ones are, it's not that they're uncomfortable. They're just not as comfortable as this one. Now, the best one in the hand out of all three of these is this one. This one does have the best ergos. Um, it's just slightly longer. So since it's slightly longer, a little bit more, you know, a little bit bigger in the hand than these ones. And this one is slightly thinner in the, in the end of it. So you would think that that would make this one more comfortable, but we already talked about the clip. Now, um, the finish is the same. Uh, let's talk about cutting performance though. So the best cutter out of all of them is going to be this one ever so slightly. These are basically about 18 thousandths behind the edge. This one's slightly under. So it's not much. They basically all pretty much cut the same. This one's slightly, slightly better. Not by much though. So the reverse flick. So the reverse flick on all of them is really good. This one to me is better than this one, but not by much. I think it's so close. And I'm only saying that because this detent is slightly stronger slightly and i saw a lot of people that's a very serious thing however the best one out of all three is this one this one just has um a longer area and you just feel like you get a little bit more leverage behind it now when we look at the fit and finish work and everything they're all done very very well the jimping is done very nice if you look at the jimping on these, they're, they're similar, but slightly different. I do really like their jimping, though. I like all the jimping. This one's uh, probably the most aggressive, but they're very similar. They're just all good. I, I really like their jimping on all three. So, Great action though. And you know, for the size knife, you know, cause it, they are such compact knives. They're still very easy to spidey flick. Ooh. Now let's talk about the drop and how smooth they are. They're all very smooth, but they're light, you know, they're light knives. You can give them all the one slap where you just give them one good encouragement. This one is slightly off centered though. All the other two are perfectly centered. This one's just slightly off centered. I can probably fix it taking it apart. I just haven't. All right, one other thing between them is the steel. We have D2, Nitro V, and 9CR. Now these are on mine. Um, I'm not sure if they switched the steel to Nitro V on this one, they might have but mine is 9CR. So that is one little difference. You know, the stone washing is the same. The grind is basically the same. I like the way they did the, the color of the liners. You know, it does have more of a bead blast. It's not the shiny stainless look or anything. These liners do definitely feel more premium than these ones. It has the milling. It's got a little bit of contouring. If you look at these ones, these ones aren't contoured at all. You can see this one's got that little edge bevel down the side. It's got the jimping. So this one does feel slightly more premium in some ways. Another thing I forgot to mention is this one is the only one with the reversible clip. So if you're a lefty, then this is going to be the one you want because these two do not have a reversible clip. So that might be a big deal to you. If I was going to have to pick one, I think I'd pick the mini archbishop. Um, just because on my versions, this one has a slightly better detent 
then it's so negligible though and you might have the yeah it's it's so slight man they're basically the exact same i mean they're all by the same company but it's very it's very slightly better on this one the detent and uh I have had this one the longest out of these three. And this one does have the carbon fiber, but it is more expensive. When I got this, it was only 90. I think they're 110 now. Um, like I said, this one is a little bit more comfortable in my hand though. And it is the better option for opening boxes up. So, <clears throat> man, it's tough. It's very tough. Um, but personally, just because I have all three in front of me, if you, you know, if you were going to force me, I would pick the mini archbishop, but you know, I, any one of them, you know, in my opinion, the best option for somebody, if I was going to say which one to buy, I would say buy this one. Cause you're going to save some money unless if the clip is a big deal to you, if the clip is the big deal to you, um, then, uh, pick, pick one of these two. And like I said, if you're using it for opening things up a lot, you you know, get the get the prolix because the mini archbishop is still gonna be good, but you know, and if you want slightly more geometry, pick this one up because it is a little bit taller, not by much, but a tiny bit taller of a grind and a little bit thinner behind the edge. So I know it's a tough one, but they're, they're just all so similar. You know, that's the thing. Like I said, I would love to see a larger version of these. Even just this one. Just a large version of this. That would be great. I'd still love to see this clip on it, though. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Peace.